Right, thanks everyone for joining us this afternoon. We're joined by Keaton Ellis. Uh, if you have a question for Keaton, please use the uh, raise hand feature. I'll call on you to unmute and then you can ask your question. We'll, uh, we'll start with Tyler Donahue. Go ahead, Tyler. Good afternoon, Keaton. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. I'm just curious now, if are you comfortable, as comfortable at safety as you were at cornerback? And if you're not, what do you need to do to close that gap? Yeah, and no, I definitely feel like, you know, I'm there, I'm getting closer. You know, obviously, you know, it just takes, you know, reps, reps in practice, reps in games. And, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm I'm, I'm getting there. And that's like the biggest thing is just getting getting live reps. And uh, I feel, you know, really confident back there right now. And, uh, you know, it just, you know, comes with time and I'm only going to get better. We'll go Max Ralph followed by Luciano Chatlin. Go ahead, Max. Hey, Keaton, thanks for your time. Um, growing up around State College, uh, being around Penn State a lot, has Maryland ever felt like little brother in a way to Penn State? No, I never really, you know, looked at it like that. You know, obviously, you know, being a fan, you know, growing up, you know, every Big Ten team, you know, the, you know they're the opposition. So I don't see that, you know, them being any different uh, than any other team we play, you know, each week. And, you know, it's just about, you know, going in each week and preparing, you know, like it's a Super Bowl every week and, you know, performing well uh, when Saturday comes. Luciano Chatlin followed by John Saber. Go ahead, Luciano. Hey, Gideon, I hope you're doing well and thanks for your time. Uh, I was wondering, what are your thoughts on Tagovailoa and what have you seen from him so far? Yeah, he's a good player, you know, he can be able to make plays, you know, can make all, all of those. So, you know, we're excited, you know, for the uh, uh, competition and, you know, we're, uh, you know, really, you know, excited to get to the game and, and play and he's a great player. John Sauber. Keaton, what do you remember about last year's game to Mar game against Maryland? And has that loss sort of stuck with you at all? Yeah. I mean, you know, you know every loss, you know, it leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Uh, so, you know, anything in particular that I remember and not really just, we got to, uh, you know, pre prepare, you know, every day, practice hard every day. And, um, you know, it's going to take care of itself. Tyler Donahue, Seth Engel on deck. Go ahead, Tyler. Yeah, Keaton, um, what's it been like watching Brisker and Brown work off each other on the practice field on game days? And what kind of an edge does that give your defense that those two have so much trust and so much history together? Yeah, you know, their chemistry is great, obviously, you know, playing together, you know, for, you know, a good amount of years. And, you know, it's, re it's really you know, cool to watch and um, just, you know, them communicating with each other. And, you know, you can learn from that and, uh, you know, try and build that with them as well. Um, and, you know, it's just it's really, you know, cool to watch. And, you know, it honestly helps, you know, me uh, like in the learning process of, you know, trying to, you know, become quarterback with a defense and, being able to communicate and, and having that trust in, you know, one another. Seth Engel, and then we'll go back to Tyler. Go ahead, Seth. How's it going, Keaton? How's it going? Uh, so last year, you know, Rakim Jarrett, you know, went off against your secondary. How do you guys plan to uh, stop his explosiveness this year? Yeah, man, it just comes comes down to, uh, you know, practicing hard, you know, this week we have a good, you know, game plan and, um, he's a great player and, you know, we just have to, uh, you know, play to our, our abilities and, you know, uh, we're excited, you know, for the competition and uh, ready to uh, get at it on Saturday. Tyler Donahue, Joe Smeltzer on deck. Go ahead, Tyler. Keaton, we've heard some good things from the coaching staff about Jalen Reed. You've been alongside him at a lot of these practice sessions. What, what stands out about his progress as a true freshman? Yeah, you know, he's, you know, really mature and professional and um, uh, he's really taking a lot of strides, you know, even through camp and through the season. And, you know, he's an exciting young player, you know, I'm just excited to be able to, you know, grow with him in the position and, uh, you know, learn with him as well. And, you know, I'm really excited for his future. Go ahead, Joe. So being from State College and seeing Beaver Stadium for the most part empty uh, last fall, I know Maryland's a road game, but just generally speaking, this year, what does it mean to you to have seen Beaver Stadium packed again? And what do you think it means just for State College and the community in general? 
yeah, it means a lot. You know, this is a, it's a big part of the community and, um, you know, community, you know, feed, feeds off, you know, Saturday home games. And, you know, it's, it's a, you know, great, it was a great feeling, you know, having all the, all those fans back and, you know, just be able to be a part of like one of the greatest environments in college football. Seth Engel, Tyler Donahue, you're on deck. Go ahead, Seth. So Keaton, you were, you were growing up at the time that Maryland joined the Big Ten. Um, that first matchup was, you know, a game in State College where Maryland refused to shake hands with players. Um, I was just wondering, were you watching that game? And has that had any impact on, you know, your intensity leading up to this matchup? Yeah, I don't, I don't uh, think, I don't remember, you know, watching that game. You know, obviously, you know, you hear it through social media. Um, and, you know, it doesn't, you know, change our attitude towards the game. And we're just going to we attack each week like, you know, we always do and uh, prepare you know, as, as much as we can uh, to play the best football on Saturday. Tyler Donahue, go ahead. Hey, Keaton, you came in with Devon uh, a few years back and, and now you're seeing him play a lot uh, at defensive tackle. We just had him on a call. What, what has stood out most about his development in year three and what has he meant to the defense, especially with PJ going down? Yeah, you know, he's, he stepped up in a big role and, you know, I'm really, you know, happy for him and proud of him um, just to, you know, obviously coming in with him and, you know, uh, all of us working, uh, you know, to get on the field, you know, as freshmen and, and that sort of thing is, you know, so I'm really excited for him and he's really stepped up and, uh, you know, taking advantage of, you know, his, his opportunities that he's been given. And uh, I'm just just really excited for him, uh, especially, you know, in this future and just proud of him for what he's done thus far. Go ahead, Tyler. Yeah, kind of following up. How did you see P.J. Mustafer influence Devon and, and also Kaziah, who, who's playing a lot now? Um, and how does that continue from P.J. even as he's, you know, dealing with post-surgery and, and, and everything like that? Yeah, you know, PJ was a you know great leader up front. You know, you know he led by example as well. And even you know with the injury, you know he's still you know you know being very vocal and making sure that you know he's trying to you know teach those guys, those young guys who have stepped up in those roles, and you know making sure they're ready and prepared, and you know doing what he can you know to make to make them the best players they can be going into the games. Joe Smelter. So in your transition uh, to uh, the safety position, how much does it help by uh, just uh, being able to play um, alongside at Jaquan? Because he's developed himself into one of the best, if not the best, um, in his role in the country. Yeah, you know, it's you know, I'm really you know blessed to be able to, you know, be uh, playing behind him and learning from him. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, he, he has a great work ethic, you know, that, you know, I can, you know, take from and. And learn from, and he's a you know great perspective. You know, obviously coming from JUCO and and here and and then coming here, you know, he's a great perspective. You know, on the thing, and you know, it's just been a great you know learning tool for me, and uh, just trying to you know soak in as much uh, from him as possible. Uh, just as far as you know, learning different things and understanding how he works and what he's what he thinks. Beth Engel. So interesting storylines last time you guys, you know, played in Maryland. Uh, they ended up canceling classes for that Friday. Um, you went, you go in there, you know, you win 59 nothing. Can you detail, you know, what was the, uh, the pregame preparation like for that? You know, how did you guys respond to uh, them having class off and making it like a big rivalry? And then also comparing that to uh, post game when you guys go in there and just handle business? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously we, you know, go into each week and, you know, prepare, you know, as, as hard as possible, um, you know, to get the result we want. And, you know, we, we prepared like, you know, we always do. And, you know, effort and practice was great. And, you know, those little things like that is just, you know, a little bit more fuel to the fire. Um, but, you know, we attack each week, you know, uh, in, the, in its own and like we do every week and, you know, just go from there. Final question, Anderley Penwell, go ahead. Hey, Keaton. So, uh, Tukavola has been torching the Big Ten. He's leading in a bunch of categories or is in the top echelon across the Big Ten. 
Uh, defensively, what specifics um, will you guys need to do, especially in the secondary, to keep him from going off? And what are some of those intangibles that make him special? Yeah, you know, he's, he's a great athlete, you know, has a very strong arm. Uh, so, you know, he can make those tough throws and he's able to escape the pocket and extend plays. And, you know, he's, you know, really, you know, a good, a great player. And so, you know, we just got to make sure where everybody's on point and everybody's doing their job. Um, uh, just, you know, the best way to handle that. Thank you, Keaton. Really appreciate the time. Good luck this weekend. Thank you.